Hi guys, so Caroline Flack's boyfriend has posted um, an emotional tribute to the ex Love Island presenter after she died yesterday. Lewis Button, 27 years old, shared a picture of him and um, Caroline uh, on Holy Day together on Instagram this morning saying um, his heart is broken and he promises to be her voice. The former ITV presenter apparently killed herself at a new flat in Islington, not London, hours after finding out she would face trial over the alleged assault of Mr. Button last year. While the producer friend who was staying with her went to the shops. So when the friend was unable to get back in, she called Flax's father, Lahian, who made his way into the property before discovering that his daughter had died. Um, Caroline's management team had previously described her as vulnerable and also slammed the Crown Prosecution Service for pushing ahead with her show trial, despite Mr. Button saying he did not want to press charges. Mr. Button's post reads, His heart is broken, he has something special. He said he's lost for words, he's in so much pain, he misses um, her so much. He knows that she feels safe with him and she always said that she didn't think about anything else when um, he's with her and uh, he was allowed to be there this time. He kept asking and asking. He said he will be her voice, he, will, he promises um, he will ask all the questions that she wanted and he will get all the answers. Nothing will bring her back to him but he would try to make um, her proud every day. And he said he lost her with all his heart. He then reposted a picture of Flack uploaded to Instagram on December 5th that read, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, with the caption that he loves her forever. Mr. Button had alleged she hit him with a lamp at her former Hallington home in December before backtracking on the claim. As part of her bill conditions, the pair were banned from contacting each other. So sad. She's so young. It's just, it's a split second decision that shouldn't have happened. She has so much to live for. It's just not worth it. So much to live for. Really sad. So the news was confirmed by her family, who said in a statement yesterday that they confirmed that Caroline had passed away on the 15th of February and they asked that the press respects their privacy um, at the, this, this difficult time. A neighbor also told Mail Online emergency services were facing outside their star's home at 1 p.m. on Saturday, with funeral directors arriving hours later around 7, 5 p.m. They also said there were loads of ambulance and police all day, all the way up the road until they left the area about 8 o'clock. And also later, a member of um, Caroline's um, management team said the CPA should look at themselves and claim they were pursuing a trial without merit, which resulted in significant distress to Caroline. The saga surrounding Caroline's court case saw her step down from hosting Love Island, which began its first ever winter series in South Africa at the beginning of the year and is now being hosted by Laura Whitmer. Hmm. ITV and Love Island's producer will now come under scrutiny for prompting that decision and what support they gave her. Reality shows have been warned by Ofcom that they have a duty of care towards their stars. Hmm. Speaking of Sky News, Sophie Ridge on Sunday, Transport Secretary Grant Sharps echoed the TV regulator saying the duty of care should be considered over Flack's death. Um, yesterday's tragic news have led to calls for ITV2 flagship show to be axed. Flack is the third person connected to Love Island to be killed, to have killed themselves after our contestants Mike T Teller says and Sophie Graden took their own lives. The former presenter has been described by friends as feeling on her own and that she couldn't see a way out. They claim she was struggling with her mental health and used an antidepressant before she died. Her replacement on the show, Laura Whitmore, led tributes to Flack last night as she posted on Twitter that she's trying to find the words that she can't. Next, 
to a broken heart emoji and also posted a poem about loss. Um, Caroline began a Radio 5 live show. Oh no, sorry. Laura began a Radio 5 live show this morning with the words, Be kind, it's going to fire your words affect people. As she fought back tears. Um, former contestants with Wes Nelson, Chris Hughes, Molly, Molly Mae Haig also paid their respects to the star while Piers Morgan called her a fun, bright and sparky person. So sad. <laughs> 